Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss about dynamic action. From Apex 4, Oracle has introduced dynamic action. The, the purpose of the dynamic action is to simplify your development, minimizing the use of JavaScript in your application. You know, in our daily development, we need to do various things in JavaScript like enabling an item, disabling an item, hiding an item, showing an item, and, and setting values of item with, uh, with something else and many other things. And in some cases, we need to uh, do Ajax also. You know, uh, JavaScript implementation has a limitation as far as a uh, browser and the, and the environment is concerned. You know, same bug code doesn't work for inter Internet Explorer. Uh, while it works for any other web browser and there are many uh, type of version compatibility as well. Take one thing, one thing in consideration that dynamic action is not the substitution for Java. Take this in mind very clearly. Today we are going to discuss dynamic action uh, so that we can enable, enable or disable some item. So let's begin with our demonstration today. We have a page here called dynamic action 1. Let's see how the page looks like. This is the page how it looks like. Active Y N yes, this is the it has only two values. Uh, when it is null, it, is, it shows null. When it is Y, it shows the label yes. Okay, the idea is uh, when you select the yes, then this value, this uh, show value field, this show value field will be disabled and will no, it will again be enabled. Okay, now let's do it. Now let's create a dynamic action. Let's, its name is DA1, okay, dynamic action 1, based on the change, okay, the event will be change event and which, which will be changed, it will be an item, which item, this is the item, this is the item, okay, the item value change, the value of the item change, this one, when, equals to yes okay so when the value of the item this one is changed to y the action will be done so what is the action this is the action you can disable enable show hide etc we're gonna disable it okay it has uh, fire on page load that is this action will be fired on page load generate opposite false action that is if this is false what will happen that is also created okay next now select item type item type is the item which item is going to be affected okay this item so, this means whenever I change the value of action yn to y, this item called p7 show value will be disabled, okay? If not, then it will be enabled. Create. Here is the da1. Now, let's run it. This no. If I do it yes, then see, show value item has been disabled. If it is no, it is again enabled. Now, Let's discuss a bit about the dynamic action that we have just defined, DA1. You see, the identification is DA1, identification DA1, when, when it will, it will uh, execute, that is, what is the event? Event is the change. Selection type, what type of selection it will be? It will be the item. What item? This is the, this is the item. P7 action YN. This is the uh, item that will be uh, that will um, change value and the event will trigger. And condition is equal to and the value is Y. So the value of when the value of this item is equal to Y, then some action will be taken. Okay, let's see what two actions shows. To a true action shows that it will be disabled. Action will be 
visible fire when event result is true this action will be fired when the event result is true what is the result result what, what will be it will be the y the value will be y now affected element this is very important affected affected element which element is going to be affected now selection type what type of element that will, will be it will be item so what item it will be it will be this is the item okay so so that means this item this value will be disabled when the condition is true that is the value equal to true okay now let's move to false action okay this is the false action what will happen false action means the action will be enable the other the true action will be disable and the false false action will be enable fire when the event result is false that is event result if event result is y then it is true so the item will be disabled but event result is null that is other than y it will be false so item will be enable so this is the basis of the dynamic action now let's let's make a little bit change here okay now change the action to hide okay it will be it will hide apply changes and for false action it will be show it will the action will be the show action apply changes apply changes now run the page okay if i just select it yes see the item is no longer here now it is no then item is appearing again so you can show hide or enable disable any item you want you can also execute javascript code and also plsql code through dynamic action thank you for watching thank you everybody